Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my vacation haul like I had promised. Um, this is going to be a beauty vacation haul. So this is everything beauty related that I picked up. Um, a lot of these things were things that I didn't think I was going to get, but I found them and I had to get them. So um, these products were products that I got in Asia. Um, so these were really well priced for what they are. Um, so the first thing I picked up was this brush roll here. It's actually a full size brush roll with all the brushes inside. Um, this was ridiculously cheap um, and the, the brushes are actually quite soft and of good material. So it came in this metallic colored brush roll here and it has 18 brushes in this entire kit. and. This is what it looks like. So these are all the 18 brushes here. I'm not going to go through every single brush, but it basically is everything from your eyebrows to eyeshadows to eyeliners to face brushes as well. And it came with this really large, really soft um, fan brush. So I have started using some of the face brushes already, and I have, and I do really like them. I've washed every single brush already, and um, Basically, they've all held up. They've all held up their shape, and they've all held up um, the way that um, they, their softness, and they don't shed, so that's really, really nice. Um, I'll still have to give these brushes a more thorough try before I decide whether I do like them or not. Um, so the next thing I got was this brush here. This is actually for... Um, putting on facial masks. So I use mainly two kinds of facial masks. Um, it would be like the liquidy kind that comes out of a toothpaste like tube um, or it will be a powder that I'll have to mix myself. Um, this brush, I just like using brushes to put on my facial mask because it gets every nook and cranny and it also helps to evenly distribute the product all over my face. That way um, basically it will just dry and I'll have to take it off around the same time. Um, this brush again was just ridiculously inexpensive. Um, and it's a good material as well. I haven't used it yet, obviously, because it's still in the um, plastic. Um, but I did pick this up at a beauty wholesaler. So it was just a really good price for it. Um, the next thing I picked up were some lashes. Um, lashes in Asia is a product that is um, really well priced. Um, they come in these really big boxes like these. And they come 10 lashes in a, in a set. Um, so I picked up these ones here. Um, these ones are kind of really natural looking, kind of sparse lashes here. Um, I really like these ones because they don't have the band on them. I was looking for something natural looking without a band because sometimes I feel like um, without the band, they're a little bit more flexible and they're more easier to apply. Um, and plus you can blend them much better into um, your lash line and with the rest of your lashes. Um, I like these ones because I thought these were a good length and um, these actually feel like real eyelashes um, so it's not that hard brittle kind. Um, really good price for 10 pair of lashes so excited for that. Um, I have worn these already. I actually feel like this one because it's um, a little bit more sparse. It actually looks better with um, just even a touch of eyeliner. It just helps to blend everything in more nicer. Um, so the next one I got was these ones here. I'm just going to take it out of the box for you guys. So these ones here, they're more dramatic lashes. They're actually quite wispy. I think these actually do look like the adult lashes here. Um, these don't have bands either, and then they're actually really, really soft. So even though they look more dramatic, they're actually not hard and brittle. They're really, really soft. Um, again, another 10 pair of lashes for a ridiculously good price. Um, these are quite dark and they're quite dramatic. I did wear these for Halloween with my Halloween costume. Um, so I do have a picture of me in my costume with this makeup and this lashes on on my Instagram, which I will link down below for you guys. Um, so another thing I got were these um, 24 karat gold masks. So this is the Isamel um, 24 karat gold nanometer natural facial masks. Um, a relative of mine was using the Isamel brand, um, which is a cosmetic, which is a skincare brand in China, and um, she gave me a bunch of these masks to try out. So I do also have a picture of me wearing this. 
um, on Instagram as well. It's actually quite crazy. It looks like King Tut's face. It's actually really, really gold. Um, I don't know if this camera is even going to pick this up or not, how actual gold it is. Um, I really do like this mask. I've used this um, a couple times recently when I got back. I put this on pretty much about once a month. Um, it's kind of made of that really silicone-y material. It's quite slippery because it's wet. Um, this is actually just the perfect size. The eyes, nose, and mouth sections actually do fit perfectly on my face. Um, and these masks are really hydrating. I feel like once you take this mask off, um, your skin is really, really soft and really moisturized. So this is something that I really like, but unfortunately, it's something that I can't get here. Um, the next things I picked up were some um, hair products. So the first thing I picked up was this hair. Um, this is a bun maker. So it's um, a tool that helps you make the perfect care bride shell buns um, that are on the top of your head or the perfect ballerina bun that's bigger than what you have. Um, so if you don't have that much hair, if your hair is very layered, these really help to make a perfect bun. Um, this is basically a wire and it's wrapped with a sponge um, sponge thing on it and it just helps to poof out the bun and um, hold it together. Um, these you can actually get in a lot of accessory stores and I know Goody is even doing products like these for perfect buns. Um, you can also pick this up on eBay for just a dollar so a really good price and you can even get free shipping to um, wherever you live. A lot of them ship internationally for free. Um, I just got these and They've been working pretty well. This one's um, pretty small, so it doesn't fit all my hair, but I've somehow made this work. Um, you can get ones that are longer if you do have more hair, um, or if your hair is really long. So, variety of these, and I believe, I've only seen these in black, but you can maybe try to find them in different colors in case you're not a dark uh, brunette or have dark hair like me. Um, the next thing I picked up was a comb. I know it's pretty random to think like why would she pick up a comb when she's on vacation. Um, it seems kind of weird. But this comb here is actually made of oxbone and um, oxbone is a material that a lot of um, people in China use for combs. Um, this is supposed to help um, detangle your hair and also make it um, really shiny and um, I have been using this since I got back and I do notice that my hair when it combs out my hair it does make my hair nice and shiny um, and it's a full size comb um, this is black but it actually has a little bit of like brown mixed into it so it's like a natural bone um, this is actually quite fragile so when you drop it the combs do fall out. Um, I have a travel size of this which I keep in my bag and I did actually drop it and I lost a comb on it. Um, but by itself it's actually quite durable, it's actually quite hard. Um, so I've been loving this. I have really coarse hair so my hair doesn't tangle so I can't tell you about the detangling factor but um, I have heard good things about this comb for long use so we'll see how that goes. Um, the next hair product are these um, samples actually. So this was another product that a relative of mine was using and when she brought the product they were giving out um, free samples. It did come in a big like sample pack cardboard thing with like instructions or also like introductions of what the product does for you but I couldn't put that in my suitcase because it was too big so I was only able to bring out the hair care product samples. Um, this is the uh, Schwarzkopf brand shampoo, conditioner, and a repair, ser a repair mask. Um, this brand here is actually a brand that you find in salons or um, professional hair care um, stores like um, Cosmoprof and whatnot, and um, also the salon stores. But in China, this is actually a brand that you can find at a local drugstore. Um, I guess it's still pri quite pricey. It was about like ten dollars, ten plus dollars for like a bottle of shampoo. Um, but this was the um, hair care product that I'd used the entire month that I was gone um, when I was washing my hair. Um, it was actually really, really good. It made my hair really soft and really silky and smooth, um, which was really nice. Um, so I'm going to give these ones a try. These are the Ultimate Repair series. So I'm glad to bring, able to bring these back to try it here because I know the water in different countries will be a little bit different. But sadly, if I do like this product, I might not be able to pick it up, the exact same thing here. But I can pick up the Schwarzkopf products at a um, 
a pro store. So the next couple of things are makeup related. Um, so I picked up a Asian BB cream. This is actually from Made in Korea, which is kind of, they are like the starters of BB cream. This is what it looks like. This is the Rose Abstract um, Taste, Naturalness, and Enjoy Fresh. Clearly the English didn't really make sense here, but it's a BB cream, and this cream smells really, really nice. It's actually got that hint of florally rose smell, but not too strong. Um, once you apply it on your face, it dissipates after a while. Um, the instructions in this is actually in Korean and Chinese. The English just tells you what the ingredients are. Um, but I did pick this up just at a drugstore that they have, a local drugstore that they have there. And um, I was able to sample this on my hand. So with Asian BB creams, they're very different from BB creams like the Maybelline or the L'Oreal or anything that you can find in a drugstore in North America. Um, these are quite full coverage and it has a really high moisture impact, which is what I like about the BB creams, um, if you do have oily skin, I probably don't recommend um, BB creams for that because even if you do prime um, a BB cream, throughout the day you do get quite oily. Um, but I feel like if you do have dry skin or if you have like a full four seasons in where you live, BB creams are really good for um, the winter time when you want that extra moisture. It's got a dewy look to it, which makes you look really nice and refreshed. It kind of gives you that summer skin feeling in the winter time, which is nice. Um, but again, it does get um, kind of oily. The dewiness kind of turns into a bit of oiliness throughout the day. Um, these BB creams that you can get from Asian brands are actually really, really light. Um, I am really fair-skinned. Um, I usually use foundations or like concealers and whatnot at the very end of the light side. Um, but this one here, I had to pick it up in the darkest color. So this brand here only came in three colors, and I'm wearing the darkest color. And I'll show you guys um, how the darkest color looks. It's really not dark at all. Um, so this is what the BB cream looks like. Just looks like um, kind of foundation, but a lighter weight to it. And this is how dark the darkest color is. So clearly not dark at all. Um, this on my face does have, as you can see when I'm rubbing it on my hand, it's got a nice dewy kind of finish to it. Even when it dries, it still gives you a bit more of that dew as well. Um, so. I do really like this. It hasn't broken up my skin or anything like that. I had tried this um, consecutively for a week. I was experimenting with it, trying it with primers, without primers, with moisturizer, without moisturizer, um, to see what kind of effect it does. I definitely say you need to prime this and you need to set it with um, a translucent powder if you want a longer wear to it. Um, but there's so many different kinds of BB creams out there, Asian brands, Korean brands, and whatnot. So um, definitely it's something that's worth a try if you're looking for a dewier finish and a lighter coverage on your skin. You can also layer this if you do have blemishes and whatnot that you can cover. Um, for me, if I had a blemish or something, I would just use a concealer to go over it and just use this basically all over my face as a moisturizer. Um, I picked up a couple of things at the Duty Free Store, of course. It was my last stop for shopping. Um, I picked up a backup of the Shumura Eyelash Curler, my holy grail curler. This was actually cheaper at the Duty Free, that's why I picked it up. Um, highly recommend this. It's the only curler that I use. I don't use anything else. Um, I love this um, for a really good hand grip. The um, cushion part is just large enough for to clamp all the lashes in my eye. I don't really have a really big eye either. Um, it's quite normal size, I think. Um, silicone, you get a second silicone padding in this, and this is good for about a year, but I usually use it longer for that. Um, the next thing that I picked up was something that I was excited to pick up. I picked up the Dior Show Maximizer Lash Plumping Serum. Um, I heard really good things about this serum. Um, from other beauty bloggers on YouTube, and I wanted to pick this up. So it just comes in this white tube like this. Looks just like the Dior Show, but in white. Um, and then it's got this white formula on like a plastic little brush here. Um, this is supposed to help lengthen your lashes and prime them so that you get more out of your mascara. Um, 
I love the Dior Show Mascara, so I wanted to give this one a try, especially because I heard really good things about it. You can actually use this either as a primer or you can use this as a serum at night. Um, this was quite pricey. This was, I think it was about $36 um, even after like the exchange rate and whatnot. So it was still quite pricey, but Dior Show, Dior products, eye products are about that range. So that's 30 to about like $36. Um, so, so far I've been loving this product. Um, I have really weak, short, um, non-existent lashes. And this, I feel like I can see the difference. It has helped to plump up my lashes. And it works so well with just drugstore mascaras. You don't even need, like, high-end mascaras. I have tried this with the Dior Show, and the effect of it is pretty much the same as a drugstore mascara. Helps to lengthen um, your lashes and just to give you that stronger primer, just like what primers do for your eyes or for your face. Um, so I highly recommend this. If you do have lashes that are non-existent, that are um, really short or they're just not voluminous at all, if you do already have beautiful lashes, I don't recommend this product because you probably don't need it. You can just live with like curling your lashes or um, just with mascara alone. Because it's pricey, that's the reason why I don't recommend it for everybody. I would say if you have lashes that... Um, you know, you really want to plump up. This is definitely a product for you um, to try. So I haven't tried this as a serum at night just because it's so expensive. I don't want to do it. I know with lash serums, you have to wear it um, pretty religiously for a long period of time, at least like two to one month, two weeks to one month before you see a big difference. And um, this is too big of a splurge to do that for. Um, maybe I will try that for a week or something to see if it does any results. But um, as a lash serum, I'm pretty happy just using my um, L'Oreal lash serum. I do use that religiously and I feel like it has given me some results. Um, I have done a review about that product, um, which you guys can find on my Beautylish page. And I know I have talked about it um, a little bit in a video as well, so definitely check that out if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about the L'Oreal Serum. Um, so far, that's everything for my beauty haul that I bought on my vacation, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and done some great shopping yourself. If you do guys have any questions on any of these products, you can definitely leave them down below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. So thank you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!